Hey everyone and welcome back to Tiny Zoo with a little special Sunday episode. Yeah, I've been I've been building a little bit yesterday evening. We are back in Germany. I'm back on my system. Uh, so feeling very well and feeling very relieved uh, to be finally on my system back again. Um, and yeah, I just sat down and played around now today. Um, we are going to focus on the African elephant today. And I'm just jumping in straight away with the topic because I did a lot of little fixes. So what I first of all did is I... I basically renamed all of the habitats so that we have a better overview. I changed a couple of uh, uh, work zones to make them a bit more efficient and stuff, you know. Um, so a couple of these things I did fix. Um, I didn't fix a couple of other issues that we still have. Um, and that is the pronghorn having uh, still a lot of issues because of being stressed and so on. Um, this is something we are going to uh, do very much at the beginning now before we do anything else. Um, I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed that these animals are also so stress, um, yeah, sensitive. I guess is the right word. Um, and we are going to make this uh, now a little bit different here. So we are going to basically make that all a one side glass fence. Um, this is not by far the the most beautiful thing we have, but uh, I'm very much willing to have that uh, instead of you know uh, having stressed animals. This is also all about franchise, so we should definitely uh, check this out. I also made sure that we do have a couple more leaf points now. Um, our conservation credits were running really low, and this is also mainly the reason why we go for the African elephant because it's one of the most efficient animals when it comes to the conservation credit. Not the most cheap one, this might be the red panda still, but um, yeah. So what I need to do also as well over here, we still have a bit of a fighting going on um, with Jackson for sale <laughs> and uh, Dade. Um, I'm not sure who's the Who's the leader of this group right now? Where do you see that again? Wait, uh, go I, let's go in here. This is the alpha one. So Jackson for sale is the alpha one. Um, so I think we're just going to get rid of the other one um, simply because we can and also because that will give us a bit more uh, money and leaf points in, in this case, even though uh, stat-wise, how are you stat-wise? Let me just quickly check that. Genetics, um, ba -ba -da -bum. how old are you? 2.5 years old but i guess it's family right so let me just have a look um oh yeah well never mind then we get rid of you anyways release you to the wild that doesn't really give us many points but it's okay so um that is done so i hope that this will also help them get some uh, better life quality also i put these um sound like a shut the fuck up sound thingies uh, down here um that a couple of people re um requested me to do i actually said that i should do that um because that was a very good idea indeed now this looks a bit odd so let's quickly put a fence stuff uh, over here and I think I have an idea what we got to do um, so I'm gonna go with wood and I'm making that a bit more of a bold one uh, simply to make sure that this is easy to cover up with the fences and makes this all look hopefully a bit nicer how about that one uh, this is a little bit too low ah, how unfortunate but okay we can we can still build something with this um i'm just going to do something very simple here okay so that is fine maybe i'm gonna find something else to put on top you know i'm just i'm just really trying to make sure that we have something good looking at the same time as something very usable uh with this zoo and okay that doesn't really look good i wanted to go oh my god these are oh my god these are enormous maybe we can have them yeah, why not? Let's put them on the low area and then same off. Oh my, this is not a building, right? Oh my god. Yeah, I should have made them into a building first. Okay, I, I will do so after I've put this one down, 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 something like this. And now let's quickly make a building out of these. Um, so yeah, I'm really trying to make this uh, overall tiny zoo very much a good looking zoo at the end as well. Um, I thought about, you know, people already told me in the comments, and you can please leave your feedback about that as well. They said when this zoo is done, which, um, you know, is kind of foreseeable because um, this, this zoo has a set, you know, um, kind of you know, layout, which I'm not going to change. So um, there is obviously going to be a certain end at some point. However, um, they said I could do basically the same tiny zoo approach again. And I have a certain idea that I want to challenge with you guys now. And this is basically an aquatic zoo. And yes, this might sound weird in the first glance, but hear me out. I think simply because we, um, we, we do have so many animals that can dive now, 
and also some others that do swim, um, you know, uh, in, in terms of swimming, also go down below water, like the hippos, for example. I think it could be a very valuable thing to do um, and also something that could really be cool. And this, you know, also inspired by the Valencia um, Oceanographic I've been to just a couple of uh, days ago in uh, our holidays. Um, I think that could be a cool thing. How do you think about this? And I also, if not, what idea do you have? And I want to still, you know, maintain this um, idea of being very small and very compact. Um, I think this makes everything a lot more easy because that will make me um, go a bit more focused and not ramble around too much and, you know, just not go crazy uh, with like two gigantic habitats and stuff like that. And also it will maintain the focus on the, you know, on the important bits. Um, so that would be That would be a very interesting thing to hear from you guys in the comments, so please help me out. Also, while we speak about that, and this is this is a work over here I can do while talking, which is very helpful. Um, what do you guys think about um, helping me out <laughs> for the next big milestone? So I don't know if you guys have seen that, but we are uh, very close to 60,000 subscribers on this channel, which let alone already is simply incredible. And I would really, really love to reach that before, um, yeah, maybe even even the end of the month but i think this is a this is a very 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 fast stretch i think this is not really doable um but yeah just in general I'd love to hear what you guys think about that and uh, if you can help me out um, because I know that a lot of people are still not subscribed but they do watch quite often. It's crazy that it's still over 50% of regular um, viewers have not subscribed to the channel and don't get me wrong, I'm, I, I had a very good, well not I, but we had a very good talk about that in the Kuali chat. Um, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I meant to say that but um, I think there is nothing wrong in saying that but Mike also jumped into the discussion um, because nowadays people just tend to really not sub that easily anymore um, in comparison to years ago. Um, and, and we are all pretty aware of the fact that this is a very, you know, very much uh, obvious reason is uh, available for that. And this is, and I, I don't know if you guys agree, please let me know in the comments if you do agree, but I think this is mainly the reason why. So nowadays there is like so much um, going on with the YouTube algorithm that Either way, if you subscribe or not, if you watch me a couple of times, you my videos potentially pop up um, in your timeline anyways, you know. Um, and the thing is that if that happens, you know, why would you then even need to sub, you know, because you have my videos there anyways and you would keep your sub feed clean. And please, for those of you who have subscribed, don't don't hate me, you know, don't go away. Um, stay with me um, because this is still helpful and I'm going to explain in a couple of seconds why. Um, now, but I I think you know this is this is mainly the reason why many people don't see a reason to sub if I'm not and this is the this is the main thing if I'd be the go-to channel for some of you this would be a different story then you would do that but I think many people are not aware of how much a sub does actually help a, a creator so you know making views and stuff blah 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 you know is good is nice blah 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 but the, the really really important thing to tell YouTube um, that my content is liked is not only by watching but also to subscribe because subscribing to a channel and then watching the videos tells the algorithm that you basically like the content and that it actually helps me put out these videos and reach more people because here's the here's the problem about and you know I'm just explaining to you it there's no need to do anything I just think this might help you to understand why I'm constantly asking for that um, so the main reason is that the YouTube algorithm uh, works that way. If you watch my videos, it keeps suggesting them to you specifically um, in your feed until you sub. And then I'm still in your feed, obviously, but then there's kind of room for new stuff that I could show you. Um, it changed a bit now with the news for you, but that's a different topic and it's still in, in beta. So I'm not really sure how that exactly works, but um, this is how it works. But this does mean that YouTube keeps posting that to you, but tells me so to say that I'm not doing good enough content because you're not subscribing you know you keep watching but you're not subscribing and that is actually the opposite YouTube then thinks my content is not good enough to make you subscribe because YouTube does not know or basically it knows but it it doesn't care about the fact that you just have a different behavior YouTube is just with the algorithm a very simple way of, of you know using the algorithm to understand if you like the content or not and they don't define that by viewing or by liking only but also by if you do subscribe after 
certain amount of videos that you've watched. So the more people watch my content on a regular basis but do not subscribe, actually do the, do the opposite. They basically tell YouTube that I'm not doing the best of the jobs, you know. They will keep pushing that to you, but what YouTube then does, they don't push this to new people because they think, you know, first of all, we have to feed those that are already existing, you know. Um, and if they do, then we can show it to new people. So my biggest issue at this point in time is that my videos seem to be very much loved by the people who watch it, but it's not going to be shown to many new people. So I have one of the lowest... Um, new people watching ratios I know of um, because I can see that all of my stats and this is again due to the fact that so many people have not subscribed of those who watch constantly and I know it's kind of a vicious circle because I you know I, I do totally understand why you wouldn't uh, subscribe and you know truth to be told I'm sometimes also not doing that I now started again to subscribe to channels again simply because of that new knowledge I gained in the last couple of weeks um, to help them out as well um, and and just have them in my list and to be honest my list is actually so long anyways that I don't care if there's one or two subs more in I'm you know you can still do the same behavior as always um, if you fancy doing so and just go to the channel that you like but you know as I just said this is the, the best thing to help out people is exactly the way I just said. Just subscribe to the channel and keep on watching for free. It's easy and that's basically what you do. Now, um, I rambled a lot now for 11 minutes, but that helped me to fix this issue. Uh, I, as I said, I did a lot. We have a new staff area here. What I now want to do, oh, first of all, one big thing I forgot all the time, we have to change the mechanic research. I still haven't researched the Arctic theme, which I need, um, but I, f uh, way more important than that is I haven't researched more of the staff facilities. Is there anything else? Yeah, well, this is missing. And do some more food shops. Yeah, that's fine. The rest is done. Okay, cool. Now, um, this area is going to be the African elephant area. We need a bigger area for that. I thought a long time about where we want to put this. I also thought, okay, maybe here next to the camels, but we don't really have an infrastructure here. So, I mean, there's that hub in the middle. But there's not really much. I'm... <clears throat> I'm also tempted to put it here, to be honest. The thing is, I also want to do some shops, but we only have some shops here. And I think this is where actually some shops are missing. So my idea was to have like a shop area in the middle. You know what? I'm just still doing that. I'm just still doing that. I'm just going to put like the shop area here and the habitat will go all the way around so that the elephants can roam around. I think that's a good idea. I think that is a great idea. So we're just going to flatten this terrain out here. Um, so like that, you know. And then I'm going to just flatten this to the foundation on this spot, just to make it a bit more easy for me to build this little viewing area and viewing experience gonna be here, you know. I'm not going to make that too big because I want to maintain more or less um, my, my habitat that I built, you know. So I'm just also going to give them like a little pool here in the beginning, but I'm first of all going to put down the path. So um, let me put down the facilities first. I want to make the shops in the middle and we are going to start by doing the guest facilities. I'm going to start with some drink stalls. And so this is going to be like, what, what is the biggest issue here? Education, toilet is fine, thirst, hunger is good. Okay, thirst seems to be the big issue. So I'm going to put down two thirst the thingies. Um, again, I don't want to put this too far in because I want to maintain as much as I can from our overall layout. So let me put this. Okay, wait, first of all, I think it's easier to make that with the grid. Uh, no, actually not. <laughs> I'm just thinking about this because I want to make sure that I use the space more efficiently. So I'm going to start with the smoothies then. Okay, maybe smoothies makes the uh, thing smooth. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, ne never mind. Pip shot water. And then we can have a one food stall, hot dog squat or square. I still haven't researched them. I'm such a bad person. Hats fantastic, just the memento. We need some balloons, don't we? So let's put the balloons here. Okay, so we've built that, you know. I'm not sure if we need a toilet here or not, but we can have like a facility down here if we need so. Um, and now let's put down the path here. And if I'm... Wow. Why doesn't that work? I, it, it should have worked. It's still so weird to me that this doesn't work for whatever odd reason. Um, but I, I think I should be able to... I'm not able to connect those. You're kidding me, right? Okay, I'm, I'm just doing that this way because I'm too lazy now to change it. But I don't... I just don't get that. I mean, 
है आई आई एम नॉट श्योर वो दैट इज पर ओके कैन यू जस्ट प्लीज कनेक्ट Come on, like this. I'm just gonna smooth this out and then blah. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth the same out here as well. So this is roundish. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be the viewing area here. Actually, we can make that. Okay. Well, that doesn't work as well for whatever odd reason. Yeah. Well, exactly this should happen, but it just doesn't work here. This is so weird. What's going on with the path here? Path is broken as always. Never mind. We're gonna keep it this way then. But this is like there's a shop. This does not. No, 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 no. We're not. We are not keeping it this way. I'm. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But this is this is this is bullshit. Um. I'm wondering though. So if I do this now, I can go all around here. Oh wait, this works. Can I finally do this? Oh yes, I can. Awesome. So now this is finally built, and now I can make it that way. Great stuff. Great stuff. So delete with, delete this and delete this. Awesome. So we've got this roundish there, and now we can make this connection a bit bigger. Noise and noise of this little plaza going on in here. And actually, I want to change the path to something more special. I think this is kind of nice. We have never actually used this path, so why not doing that? Um, the good thing about this is the people can still access these buildings. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's it's actually weird that they are. Uh, wait, I don't one, two, three. I can can I just move them all now? Yeah, I can. See, this is kind of fancy. You now you can connect them all. It's actually super weird, but it doesn't matter. I'll take that. You know. So this is done. Awesome stuff. And now we need to make sure that the habitat is kind of nice looking. So we are just going to make some nice little stuff here. Uh, you know what? Actually, why not having something higher here? I quite like the idea of having this a bit more hilly because the elephants can actually traverse that pretty nicely. So there is no big need to change that dramatically. And then we can make like a ramp that goes down here. So let me just flatten to surface. That is something like a nice ramp. Okay, so like this and then we can make like a little bit of a nature nature valley down here you know i, I want to make this rather big for them you know just gonna gonna say this straight away because this is meant to be like a kind of a nice little elephant reserve i mean this can be even though it's a tiny zoo but we are in the middle of the desert of africa so i think there's a big chance that we could do this um that way so there's a little shop we're gonna make this like nicely covered with like a big roof structure so i can see them um, and where do I put the pool? I think I want to make the pool a bit raised so you can still see them diving, but this still should be part of the habitat. So I think that could be a cool little element. Let me just build that first, okay? So I'm going to barriers and I'm going to build this barrier. Can we do that curve? Yes, we can. Okay, so um, I'm going to stick to uh, flat top. Okay, they can't dive anyway, so I'm going to make something where they are, yeah. It doesn't matter. We don't need to make that that deep, anyways, which is which is rather cool. So we are going to make this and gonna be curved and longer. So let's do this and now stretch this all the way out here. Okay, I can't do this different, so I'm just going to make it like so. I'm gonna make this anyways. Um, this is where the ramp goes down. Okay, this is nice. Then the ramp goes way into the water, which I think is pretty much what I wanted. Okay, cool. Now this is done. I'm going to drag this thing all the way here. I'm going to drag this thing a little bit further back. I'm just going to delete this and now we can rotate this perfectly fine. Awesome. So this is the this is going to be the water pond. Uh, it's going to be tight for them to traverse there, you know. Um, I'm going to edit everything and we're going to pull that all back. So like here. I think that's fine. The, the pool doesn't need to be like super big, you know. We can make that a bit deeper though, but other than that, I think it's fine, you know. It's gonna make it this way. I'm gonna make this smaller over here, so just make that all a bit higher, a bit more hilly, a bit more structure, nice, like, you know. It should actually look like something. So make it, make it really rough. That That's definitely what we want. So that should be part of the habitat, so that's gonna, gonna be it. So make that higher as well. I think that's gonna look good. I'm gonna put some rocks and so on in between and then that's all gonna go good. Chiseled is away a little bit. Oh, I 
like so. Smooth this bit out a bit. Just gonna be annoying. And I'm gonna make this rock smooth. There you go. There you go. The bottom is going to be uh, covered in... Uh, actually, you know, if I've done, I can delete this thing. Come on. Edit this barrier. Delete it. I'm gonna bring this all the way over here. Okay, this is gonna be covered in plaster anyways. And two meter deep should be enough for them to swim. But then at the same time should look good enough. Okay, let's bring this all the way up. And see if we can fit water in at the two meter mark somehow. Is that like... That's not high enough. Let's try if we can go one high. Yes, we can. That is brilliant. This is exactly the depth I wanted to go for. You know, so the guests can see that. They can swim a little. I think that's a good idea. That's a very good idea to do it that way. Just bring it all down to this level. Nice. And then we're going to make this like a solid one. You know what? This can also be solid. Why not? So these two are solid. Because we need to make like a ramp that goes down here again now. So I think... Uh, we can actually make the ramp here, why not? So flatten to surface, make that a bit wider. So this is gonna be the ramp here. Okay, nice. Gonna bring this together and smooth that. I like I like me some some more natural habitats in general. I think I think they were missing quite a bit. So let's just do that, like a fully natural habitat here. I think that's a very very good thing to do today. Um, good. Okay, so let's go full speed now, making that habitat nice. I'm gonna try to build as fast as I can over here um, in franchise. I, this is also like a really nice challenge to do every now and then. Uh, making making this one down here as well a bit more interesting looking by just pulling that down, flatten this a bit like so, and then we can just bring some more rock in here, rock smooth, make that a bit less obvious like so. I'm really not sure how exactly they need that terrain, so I think they need a lot of soil and mud and stuff, so I could bring some soil in already but I'm hoping that they will also need some grass because I want to make this look some some much more grassy I'm gonna make them a fake ramp here as well but now what we gotta do first I mean elephants are somewhat hard to, harder to maintain but I, th I still think I want to go with this fence hmm or do we just do like a little water barrier here gosh I don't know I don't know, they're a little bit harder to maintain, so it, there is a chance that they could be a bit more attacking you, I guess, but I want to make this... Uh, how do I do that? Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna go full with the concrete barrier first. A low concrete barrier, and then I could do something behind... Or do I do myself one? Yeah, I'm, doing, I, I'm, I'm gonna make myself one. With like this little... Like a little... Um, uh, gosh, how is it called? A um, Oh wait, no, the limestone is now flexi color, so we can use limestone for that, you know? There you go, this is, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. I just recently discovered that by the posting of our friend Mr. Eben. Um, I don't know who exactly did discover that, but this is brilliant that it now finally is. Look at that, we can finally have like something concrete looking that is actually limestone and you can color that yourself oh my god i love that okay we're gonna use this one it doesn't need to be something else but um we can make this really really nice because oops this is not what i wanted but i can have this lower here and then uh, both sides and you go here no actually you know what we make you one wider there you go there you go and then we go for nature and we say mulch and then we're gonna put this in between there you go whoops is that is that actually the right angle oh it is uh how about a wider one okay that's just exactly not fitting how uncool is that anyways okay so we're gonna put this here and the other one goes here. And I think it might make sense to go for a mesh fence as well. I'm gonna put this right in the back here. So that they don't get their fingers there, you know. Don't get the fingers in there. And then we're gonna make this blah, brownie. Brownie, brownie, brownie. Something like that should be fine. You know, this way. And we can still put something else down there as well. But first of all, I'm just going to put this... Uh, under the ground here 
Oh, you know what we else can do? This makes things even more easy. Uh, now as we have them, I'm gonna go for curb. And we are going to put one right in there. Boom. Okay, this makes things way more easy now. And hopefully this is gonna work out the way I want it to. Whatever. I think, you know, to make our life a bit more simple, we should use only non-grid pieces. Since we have the chance now, we should definitely do so with this piece, for example. Uh, let's do this in the color we just had. And then, is there anything else non-gritty available for them as well? No, they're all grid. They're all grid. Wait, this is not grid. What's that? What is this? Oh, that looks even better. Awesome. I'm gonna take this. We are going to take this here, like there. And you're gonna bring this in the back as well. We can actually bring this one higher. Why not? And then we bring this lower thing down to have like a little edge to our wonderful little thing. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to copy this once over somewhere. Can I dump this? Let's dump this here. Okay, we are 25 minutes in. That is pretty dang long already for the habitat. Okay, let's go quickly with this thing then. Okay, so the cool bit is now we can just once bring this down to the right height and then if I'm correct, the game will now finally... Okay, it doesn't do so. I thought it will maintain the same height. I thought they fixed that. This is something I really, really need in my life. But dang, it's not gonna do it. Ah, so unfortunate. Okay, well, then I need to bring this up here, like so. And then, you know, just do it as always with this wonderful broken gizmo. Nah, whatever. Um, I'm just going to bring this all in here. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do this here for the moment being, um, as like in the viewing area, okay? And then we will do the rest with some concrete fences. Um, I think that is for the moment the best idea we can do. So because also it's height-wise not even the best thing to do. So that is just like here, and now we bring this all the way to the other side as well. Just like so. I mean, the good thing is we can use the rotation quite easily. You know, what I'm going to do is put that here. I mean, this is kind of cool about the curb now. We can just be a bit more easy going on the path because it will not hurt us anyways. Uh, we can just plop it down and it doesn't matter. That's the good thing. And I need to also just kind of change these pieces there a little bit because that just looks not so nice, but we can also maybe cut, you know what? We just covered that with some plans make our life even more easy and still make it good looking. You know, sometimes sometimes it's kind of okay to use these things to make your life more easy, you know. Um, and since the last episodes were a bit shorter, I can make this one a tiny bit longer, so never mind about this. I'm just going to bring these things all the way to the end. And I'm just gonna bring this here. Okay, now this is this is kind of a nice little viewing experience they have over here. So now let's go to Zoopedia and say African elephant. Where are you? Uh, oh, it's the savanna elephant now. Okay, and we're going to say national habitat. We need um, blah 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 blah. Grade four, two meters high. Okay, let's have a little look. Which barrier is grade four? Is this grade four? This is grade two, grade two, uh, grade six though. What is that? Grade four, and this is good. Okay, this is also grade six, right? What is that? Grade five, moderate. Um, the thing about this is, you know, this I like this a lot for an elephant habitat. This really would look really, really cool. But the thing is that it, in this setting over here, it doesn't really make so much sense, you know? Um, that's a bit of a pity. That's a bit of a pity. I would love to have something here. I would really love to be able to just recolor those things. That would be nice because the Gabion... Uh, would you have that here? I don't know. Um, I'm just trying now, okay? I'm just trying and we are going to have this now as a... Wait. Oh, wait. That's the wrong mode. That's the right mode. So let's just bring it all the way here. I just want to see... How this turns out to be okay so habitat goes all the way here this is where the habitat is going to be started i'm just gonna make the fence up here not sure how much space i do give them down here but i'm i'm thinking to just go all the way over here and then we go straight back into this area here 
yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and again, these things are not the final fencing, of course. And we're just going to bring this like a shorter one. Goes here. Just connect and then we're gonna go with this one. We can drag it all the way over. Nice, this is done. Um, yeah, again, as I said, this is going to be tricky because I, I'm really not certain about the looks of it, you know. It does actually fit with the lighting quite over here, you know. It's okay. I thought it was worth, but it's not. Um, so we could try to make this a little bit... Can we make the curve barrier at top? Is there a way to make this? Oh, yeah. Look, it's not as bad as I thought. We can make this like so. I quite like that. And we're going to make this go lower then. And we have to go higher and lower. Okay, is that like following the following the lines? I think it is, right? This is not as bad as I thought it was. Um, and we are just going to chop down this thing a little here. Uh, just to make that a bit more in line with the habitat and then that should all look a bit better. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's definitely doable this way. Okay, cool. And um, we're gonna make this, oops, no, wants to uh, escape too often. Um, we're gonna make this the normal wall. And from over here, all the way to the back. This can be, why not this thing? And then over here, this one over here I have not decided quite yet, but I think what I'm going to do is lower this down, make the, the normal wall. Can I make this like freaking reddish? Yes, dark red, that's nice. This fits a bit better in line with what we built. It's not really the exact color I want, but it's going to be nice. Once we have it, bring it all very close to the path here. There you go. There you go, that's nice, that's good. I'm gonna make this like a bigger wall because there's going to be some education in front of it. This is gonna be then Gabian. Just trying to, you know, change things a little bit. Okay, so now intensity can go all the way higher. This is gonna be three. We are going to lower this down all the way here as like a little ditch, you know, a little ditchy ditch and um, smooth it out a little bit. Um, is that already enough for a ditch? It somehow is, but I think I make that like a bit more wide, you know? Let's go down here, make that ditch a little bit wider. It can actually be that, you know, it can be a bit deeper than in the middle. Why not? And now make that, uh, it's just not right, but it's okay. So let's do it that way. I'm just gonna make this all sandy sand over here. That's nice. So they have something to drink also. And this is gonna be rock all the way. Good. Okay, good. We have we have we've we've done that. I think the habitat already comes together pretty nicely. So let's bring in the animals. Half an hour is done in today's episode. Dang, that's a long episode. Going to be a very long episode. We do have the Verinciato one. Um we've got the male and the female one. I think, you know, I'm just gonna go for both. Um, I mean, these are siblings, I know. No path to destination. Yeah, no, I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm very stupid. Let's do staff path here. My God, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, can I? Yes, I can. And I should also do this. There you go. Actually, can I just have that one? Yes, nice. Okay, we also have no keeper assigned, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna hit unpause real quick. Um, and I'm gonna bring those two in and this is pretty dang good and I think we don't have do we have more elephants I think we don't right okay no we do not we do not that's it's totally fine but we need to um, reset all filters and say west uh, no it's the uh, African savannah elephant gosh I have to get used to this new naming which is great because you know new naming is important um, pause. Uh, what is that? What is that? Is that like a new... I can't buy this, but this is a new color pattern. Wait, albino, pink skin with dark patches. I've never had one. This is too expensive, but I've never had one. Dang it. 
There's also none like for real money. Should I stay or should I go? Um, yeah, well, I need a good female though first. How old are them? 27 years old? It's not like a younger version here. Uh, uh, okay, that one is good. I still money left for a female. Fatality is okay. Yeah, well, let's get those two as well. Nice. Um, I needed to get them too, simply because I need to breed. This is what we need to do here. Okay, nice. So what's going on here with you? I know it's not in the right ideal temperature. Is that because of the power shortage? What is the, what is what's the problem? Animal is too hot. Really that hot, okay. Well, then let's put them some coolers. Cooler, cooler, cooler. I, I did also put down some coolers here for the sea lions, but you know, there's one cooler here. The range is quite okay, so we should also put like another one. Nope, not F it. Just put it down in here. I'm gonna move this in now, but like the temperature can be 25, you know. We don't need to cool it down massively, that's a good thing. Um, and so we're gonna go for 25, otherwise they're too cold. So let's do it that way. Um, facilities without power, they told me as well. So they will do better in a second. Um, oh, they all have no power because there's no power here. Okay, well, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this by facilities, energy, blah, blah, blah. I think in this back area we can... What about a wind turbine? Is that enough? No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna put like a, you know, whatever. All the way around. I'm gonna put one here. Awesome. Okay. Issue fixed. Okay, so this is all done. Um, I think this, uh, we, I, I need to still make them look good anyhow. You know what we, oh my god, no vendor? Why is there no vendor? Okay, um, but let's first of all get, go to here and then we go to walls and we go to wall pieces and we're gonna go to normal wood pieces. I want to really go for these things, yeah. These are the ones I want to have here. This is just going to be pretty much exactly those I want. Uh, one here, one there. I don't know why I even put that in the middle. It does not matter. So put this here, put this here, put that one there and that one there. I'm gonna roof, you know, this is not really meant to be the final result. Don't you worry, okay? Don't you guys worry at all. This is just meant to be for the moment being, I'm gonna make like a really nice roof structure in a second. So this is just the bare bones stuff, okay? So there's the baby elephant, nice. And we can quickly check the habitat perimeters and stuff. Oh, that looks fantastic. Um, they can't even go into the water. They cannot escape. They have no hard shelter, which is something I need to... Yay! They need some grass shot. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna bring in a tiny, tiny, tiny time lapse, okay? To make it not super long. And then I'll be back with you with the last couple of seconds. So here we are, uh, as I promised after the little uh, speed build, and this is the, well, I'm 
you know, I, I don't want to say finished result, but that is the uh, current result of our wonderful habitat. I think there were a couple of stones missing here and there, you know, for example, here, just like to make this uh, look a tiny bit better here. I think this still doesn't really look good enough, but you know, who am I to judge at this point? Is that, are they sticking out? They're not. Okay. So they still have a bit of an issue here with uh, the traversable area. I tried to fix a couple of things, but um, wait, why is this so much of an issue now? Uh, what did I mess up here? I, they used to be... Oh, okay, I think because of the stones up here I put down. Um, but yeah, so this is this is mainly um, meant to be their habitat. And I think I need to... And Oh my god, they have such a shitty traversable area. I'm not gonna lie if I say that this is something they have to fix. Boy, 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 is this annoying. Um, yeah, let's pull that all back a little. I will take care of that off screen, guys, because I'm just... I'm just not like, I'm just not really here to, hello, what is this even? I mean, this, this takes ages to kind of, yeah, okay, figure that out. Okay, cool. Now this is better. Um, they have a traversable area. I will need to build them like another shelter in the background. I think I'm going to put another shelter back here with the, with the staff, you know, just uh, behind that one to have like a two layered area. I think this will look good anyways. Um, but yeah, so this is the elephant habitat. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a bit of a different one. We, uh, different definitely needed to fix some issues so i really hope you enjoyed that one um and also to build the elephants i really hope we can start breeding rather quickly with them because we need definitely some conservation credits for the future so i expect me to do next week's episodes uh with a focus on fixing this and and maybe not bring in a new animal maybe i do it depends a little bit on how much i do off screen but again if you have listened to my little ramble about youtube i would really be so happy to welcome you as a new subscriber on the channel if you want to help me out again that's the easiest way the most uh simple way to support the channel if you like the content and uh, yeah that's about it for today thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day i see you in the next one and goodbye